Yeah, I know. Michael, let me call you back. Yeah. Hey, Tara. Can you sign me out? I've returned the equipment. Sure. You have my money? Excuse me? Joy says she saw you cleaning houses on Green Street. Last time I checked, I only gave you one job today. Those were those were side jobs, and I needed the money in order to take care of my son's daycare. Can you... We all have a story. You use company's equipment for the job. It's our money. Tara, I bought those equipments on my own, and, and they're in my car, Tara. I, I needed the money to take care of my son's daycare. I'm, I'm not giving my money back. You young girls come in here and think you can just steal from me? The only reason you got those clients or even get those clients is because you wear those tight clothes and put on all that makeup. <laughs> I, only wear, I only wear lip gloss. And, and I never, and I mean I never, stole from you. You know what? I, can I just get my check so I can go pick up my son? Listen, sweetheart, listen. I docked your pay for bringing the equipment in late. And I'd watch your tone before I keep this check. Wow, Tara, for real? You know what? Just give me my check and you won't have to worry about me no more because I quit. You can't quit. You can't afford to quit. And we're short staffed. I, I don't I don't care. I don't care. I don't need to be treated this way. I've, I've worked I've worked hard. I've already been struggling to take care of my son. I, I don't need you. I'll start my own gigs. <laughs> You'll be back. They always come back once they fall on their face. <laughs> Please. Mike. We got another one. Cheryl, thank you so much, Mr. Allen. You have a wonderful day. Hi, welcome to Green Clean Industries. How can I help you? Yes, I'm here to see Anika. Oh, 11 o'clock, sure. Can you please put your information right here in your name, in your email? And in the meantime, I will go check. Tell her you're here, okay? Yes, well, we only aim to give the best for our customers. I'll shoot that call over now, and as soon as we're ready, me. we're ready to. Okay, thank you. Yes. Anika, your 11 o'clock is here. Okay, send them in. Thank you. Bye-bye. She's ready for you. Okay, just come follow me. What, what are you doing here? I know Last time we saw each other, things didn't go well. That's an understatement. You blamed me for being a thief and you docked my wages knowing that I have a son to take care of. I know, and, and I'm truly sorry. I don't have time for a kumbaya. Enough of the niceness. What do you want, Tara? Quality cleaners is losing business because of you. I have young women undocumented women who have to make ends meet too. So can we come to some sort of agreement? What kind of agreement? I, I don't know if I can collab with someone who treats their employees the way that they do. I've changed. These young women are my number one priority. And I just want to see them feed their families. I wish I could have acted differently towards you. <sighs> because you were only trying to do the same. But don't let them suffer because of me. What's the agreement? I want my undocumented women to come work for you. I have a decent list of clients and I can share 20% with you. Hmm. I want Bardell Park. Those are my richest clients. I pay the bills rent with that list. I, I need Bardo Park in order to open new shop. That's the deal, and I'll hire your girls. If I give you Bardo Park, 
I won't be able to keep the company running through the holidays. Understood. I'll let you in on the profit enough to sustain your building's rent. And I guess I'll throw extra in for your girl's transportation. Now, my assistant has the contracts ready and prepared. It's all up to you now, Tara. I have no choice. We have a deal. Great. One more thing. You have zero, and I mean zero, access to those girls' salary. We don't need anyone around here docking these girls' pay. I don't mess with checks anymore. I learned how that blocked my blessings. Thank you, Anika, for everything. My girls will love the news. Thank you. Let me know when to start making arrangements for your girls. My assistant, Laura, has your contract rating. Have a nice day. Thank you. You're welcome. The moral of the story is, you deserve to be treated with respect no matter what position you hold. Never let your employer make you feel less than. Remember to never burn a bridge you may need to cross again one day.